There are 3,353 veterans who live right here in Queen Anne's County. Now, we're not going to be able to interview them all, but we're getting as many as we can. This is our third series of shows. We'd like to thank QAC-TV for helping us, Queen Anne's County Arts Council, which is also helping us out. And my special guest today is Jim Moran, who most of you know is a county commissioner. Mm -hmm. Probably another half know that you have a very successful businessman, your mm -hmm. own company. Mm -hmm. But I bet few people know. You're a United States Marine. Yeah. And a Marine family. Absolutely. So why don't we start with your dad? Okay. Because I was told by Bob Nielsen, Fred, you better not forget that jarhead. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about dad as a Marine. Well, my father was the, uh, he comes from a family of 11. Okay. Uh, five girls mm. came first, and then my father. So he was the oldest boy, but <laughs> he had getting, five older sisters. He was getting sisters. beat on by the sisters. And he, won, he joined in uh, July 27. Of 1945, oh, and he was 17 years old. Oh, he's a kid. He's a kid. He was a kid out of you know Baltimore, born and raised in Baltimore, historic district of Baltimore called Dickeyville. Oh, sure. Born in the house there, and, and his five brothers were behind him. Uh, you know, so he he did 20 years as a Marine, and all of his brothers a went Marine? into the Marine Corps. Oh, yeah. so you all were... but one. Excuse me, all but one. So this is a Marine family. Yeah, yeah. Now your dad, tell me, 45. Help me out. Where was any highlights or? No, he 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 was. Uh, in transit from from boot camp, okay. When the Japanese surrendered, thank goodness he uh, didn't but have he, to do that. Yeah, yeah, he didn't have to do that. Uh, he, he and when Korea was around, he uh, he was. Uh, oh, he served in Korea. No, he no, served no. as a, uh, a. He was in all. Well, let's put it this way. Yeah. My oldest brother Rick was born in Camp Pendleton. You My sister and I were born in Albany, Georgia, at a, at a depot, <laughs> and my two younger brothers, Bob and Jeff, were born in Camp Lejeune. You're all Marine You're all Yes, yeah. yes. So he, he did a lot of moving around. He was in the supply okay. depot. Okay. Uh, he, he met my mother as an embassy guard oh, in wow. Algiers. My mother's from uh, North Africa. Now that would have been good duty, an embassy guard or not. Uh, it was. Oh, it, that's good duty. It paid off for him. He found, found, found his a bride. love of his a good life. One. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, you know, uh, they... Uh, so your they, mother's Algerian. I didn't know that. Yeah, she's, okay. she's French. Okay, Her friendship. father was the consul general of Algiers. You kidding me? No, no. And she so, marries a Jorahead. And he was a he was a uh, I believe a colonel in the French army. He's got the Legion d'Honneur, which me. is their their equivalent oh, wow. to the Medal of Honor. So, so both sides of the family were talking military. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. But she was an only child. Uh, so it was a shock, you know. I imagine for her coming here so. for the first time oh, yes. and, and yeah. uh, seeing all these. Brother-in-laws and sister-in-laws, everything else. But, so you uh, jump in with both feet in yeah. America with a Marine. Yeah. That, yeah. And so your dad stayed in 20 years. Mm -hmm. The family and a great family yeah. background. Yeah. Though, okay. Now, how did? So I guess was it? Did you always know? Like my grandfather served in the army. Mm -hmm. My father served in the mm -hmm. army. It was like that's what make me old men do. Right. So yeah. Is that was the tradition in your family? Well, I don't know if it was a tradition. My grandfather was a shipbuilder. Okay. He was a carpenter, so he did, uh, you know. Uh, Anything had to do on the ship with the estate rooms uh, in Baltimore. Uh, I I joined the Marine Corps basically to make my dad. Now, uh, like your dad, seventeen, or were you older? No, I was I was uh, it was nineteen eighty, so I was nineteen. Oh, so I'd worked for a couple of years after high school and just you know wasn't really getting anywhere with anything. So yeah. I decided, you know what, Let, let's do this for dad. Good, and, good. And uh, I good did it for my father, enlisting. But once I got in, it was all for me. So tell and me, I will yeah. tell you, Go ahead. I was in uh, 1980, so July 27th, the same to the same date as my father You're joining the Marine Corps. Oh, wow. Yes. He must have had a grin. Was he alive? He was alive. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he must have had a grin. Yeah. A, a oh, yeah. Wide, my, right? my father had a lot of salt to him. Oh, good for him. A oh, lot wow. of salt. And, and one of the proudest moments were when I uh, came home my first year for Christmas and had dress blues. Oh. And at that time, uh, I was... Best uh, uniform, I think, in the American military. I don't know how you feel. The best uniform. Well, I, I came down the stairs. He was sitting on a, on a sofa. We were going to Christmas Mass mm -hmm. in, in the evening. And uh, he looked over, and he did a double take, and he, he jumped right <laughs> he out. He saw you. He, he saw himself. Right, yeah. He jumped right out of that chair and came over to me. Oh, and, man, that's a great story. Okay. Yeah, he's, it was... He was a he was, he was a great very man. Well, my father was a proudest. When I got out of Vietnam, mm -hmm. we still had to go back and register with the draft board. Mm -hmm. My father was on his own business. He didn't have time for 
his son. Mm -hmm. But uh, first time I ever saw him, he had a grin from me. Uh, walking in the draft board, my son served in Vietnam. You yeah. know, it's like, uh, and, and he was World War Two, and of course, mm -hmm. his grandfather of World War. Mm -hmm. So what did you, what did you, where did you have basic? Like, Lejeune, I guess? Uh, uh, no, no. I, I, well, I went to Paris Island. Oh, you went to Paris yeah, Island. Yeah, Paris oh. Island, take you in at night and through the darkness. The swamp. You don't know the swamp, <laughs> the whole nine yards. I was first company, uh, I, uh, first battalion A company. Okay. Uh, so I, I was meritoriously promoted three times. Very good. Uh, so I mean, I did that. I got out as a sergeant in four years. Oh, you made but, E5. Oh yeah, oh, I made very E5, good. and and uh, you know my MOS, which what I did when I was in the military. But before we go to that, tell me about basic. I mean, basic, there's so many horror stories about Marine. Well, basic all I can tell you is, yeah. is is Paris Island is. Uh, They'll make you or they'll break you. Okay, that's their purpose, uh, right? And, that's their purpose, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and it's funny because before I went in, somehow somebody gave me a, a record one day, mm -hmm. the sounds of Paris Island. So I was <laughs> oh, in my room. I was in my room and I'm listening to the sounds of Paris Island. Okay. And my father was sitting outside the door. He was sitting on the, the stairs to go downstairs. Okay. And I was hearing all these noises. Fred, I didn't know what these were. Right, and my right. father was down. He was just laughing. He was laughing. Oh, because he, he remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I said to him, I said, what's so funny? He goes, don't you worry. You're going to find out. <laughs> just, I said, oh, no. You're in so, the Marines. By the way, yeah. I, I, let me just jump back. I'm going to jump around. Uh -huh. What rank did your dad get at? What was he? E5, he was, E6? He, he was a gunnery sergeant. Oh, gunny. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He was All a right. gunny. Yeah. So he's a tough Marine. Oh, was, yeah. That was yeah. old school. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you went, so basic training, any horror, did it hit you in the face like it basic hit me or what? No, I mean, yeah. it was, you know, I mean. Well, you were a football the, player. You say. Yeah. And that the fact that, you know, the Marine Corps has the longest basic training that there is uh so you know you go in and and uh it, it's it's a rude awakening for a lot of guys i can tell you there was a lot of guys that thought they were real tough oh and they break them real quick wow. jim and, my favorite story is the guys that thought they were tough is in the army i don't know what they did in the marines mm -hmm. you had you walked into a gym one morning mm -hmm. there's like 10 stations up for shots mm -hmm. they give you a shot in oh, this yeah. i'm shutting bleeding here guns and needles mm -hmm. guys passing out uh -huh. guys on the verge of tears uh -huh. and you're saying Tough guys, and you, know, you just had to. Well, I'm yeah. sure you, ended, you just had. To, that's it. Welcome oh, yeah. to the army, yeah. right? Oh, that and the fact that you know, as the guide iron, I carried the guide iron. Okay. So, you you hold the door open for the entire platoon. They right. go into the chow hall right. ahead of you. They all eat. You're the last person to eat, but you have to be the first person outside for everybody to line up on you. And so you just show Fred, that. I could eat a whole entire meal in about a minute and fifteen <laughs> seconds. So basic <laughs> training for me at Fort Bragg, we had to. Maybe you guys had to. We had to hit the bar. We had to go. You know, bars over your head. Uh -huh. We had to. Do the bars, oh. jump down, eat, and I remember my throat hurt. The whole basic training, because like you said, because drill sergeants are screaming at, "Eat that food, private!" Yeah. And I'm sure you yeah. had the same thing. Yeah. Oh, so you had to get in first, yep. out first. No, I got, I got in last. Oh, in last and out and first. Out first. Yeah. Mm, no, thank last you. Last in, first out. Yeah. Okay. Any, any story still? I'm, I, I, well, we, I, I can remember we had, you know, you do pugil sticks. If you yes, remember, yes, yes, right. fighting with the pugil sticks, and they to put you against the other platoons, right. and. Um, we were we were getting our rear ends handed to us. <laughs> so what ended up happening is they would they would not supposed to, but I'd cut a line and I'd go again and I'd okay. go again. Oh, keep going. Okay. And, and we got down to it was tied, oh, and they put me out there and they put another guy out there for another platoon, and we both went for the, yeah, the kill. The kill shot. They said he got to me before I got to him. Okay, so okay. I, I didn't win. Went to the chow hall, like I was telling you. I was the last person to go in, but as I was holding the door, because the drill instructors go in bef before me, right, right. and then I go in after them. They all stopped. They grabbed the door and said, you go in first. Oh, right. A little yes. tribute to you. Yeah, it was. Oh, very yeah. good. Okay. So, I mean, it was, it, it, there, there, there's a lot of moments there, a lot of, a lot of good memories. You know, I, I had nothing bad to say about it. I think it. I think that everybody should have to do sure. two years in the military. I don't care what it is, Air Force, Navy, Army. You know, Marine Corps, whatever, you'd have a greater appreciation of this country. Absolutely. My grandkids, I think this should be, man I'm a dear. Yeah. I believe, and I've said this for years, my children cringe when I say it, mandatory, one or two year commitment. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't want to go in the military, then work in a hospital. Right. If you don't want to work in a hospital, work right. on parks and grounds, yep. that type of thing. Because yep. I think one of the big, you learn to respect your country when you spend 36, 24 months. Absolutely. As a when you see how other people live, yeah. Around this world, you you you, no you don't have no idea how good no you have it here. In, now, in, in the USA. in the Marines, mm -hmm. Army, right after basic training, mm -hmm. they usually get a little bit of leave, and then you mm -hmm. jump into MOS, military. Yes. Okay. So, what was your yeah. MOS? I was a uh, uh, avionics electronics. Oh, okay. So my A school that I went okay. to was in Memphis, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and I was there for uh, I want to say almost nine or ten months. Oh wow, that's a long it, school. It, it was because it's electronics. Okay. So uh, when I got to the fleet, uh, they sent me to. Uh, Cherry Point, North Carolina, because I was in 
the air wing. Right. So, and they That's said, a big what you, they, uh, it's it's Cherry Point's it? not a bad size one. Okay. So they said to me, you know, what do you want to work on? I said, I want to work on those brand new F-18s. Sure. And they said, we don't have the F-18s yet. I said, <laughs> okay. really? They're taking the place of the F-4s. You want to work on the F-4s? I said, sure. Not, you know, I don't yeah, you, you know. You, know, you're, you're, you don't know. know what you're doing. You're a project. So, right? so they go, okay, you're going to Buford, South Carolina. And I said, okay. Buford? Buford well, where's right? Buford? He goes, did you go to Paris <laughs> Island? I said, yeah. He goes, you're six miles away. I said, oh, my God. You're the sand fleas. Anyway, so... I worked on the fire control system of an F-4 Phantom. Okay, so you that means the radar, right, right. the radar system, the tracking, how they find the targets, how they shoot the targets. Everything in the back seat was ours, and we worked on it. It was a two-seat aircraft, okay. uh, fighter attack aircraft. So you'd actually go in the jet when it's on the ground oh, yeah, and do yeah. the maintenance of it, and the marine yeah. pilots. Yes. Okay, which yeah. is good. And then I ended up after, you know, after two years, I ended up running the night shift. Okay. Uh, you know, because that's when you naturally we're flying during the day and at night sure. we're, we're sure. fixing. We need them. to work. Yep. And uh, so you know, I I was one of two enlisted men. One day I asked the skipper. I said, you know, when do I get my ride in one of these? And he looked at me. And the next morning I was sleeping because I worked. He took you up. He took me up. It's usually enlisted guys don't get. The oh no! Yeah. I mean, let me tell you something. I understand why they stay in. <laughs> I was you know was airborne for less than forty minutes, and uh, we went shooting down that runway. And the only thing he said to me, uh, uh, Colonel Cheatham, he said. He said, just watch the airspeed indicator. Tell me when we hit 120 miles an hour and so we can lift off. And I said, yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, I'm going down that runway. He's sitting in front of me, and everybody's lined up. And they're pushing you. No, okay. everybody's oh, okay. lined up, and they're all watching. And I'm doing one of these like I'm on a roller coaster. And, he's, and all of a sudden, I can hear in the headset, what's our airspeed? What's our airspeed? Fred, I couldn't find that airspeed to save my <laughs> life. And I said, no, he just yoked back and... Up we went. Now you push back in the how's it? I mean, you're rocking back, are you? Oh, no. Oh, it's, no. Uh, he, when he pulled back on that stick, that, that tunnel vision, and I never knew what that was. And all of a sudden, my vision went down to about like this. Okay. And then my G-suit inflated. Okay. And it inflated, pulled up. We ended up going out. We were with another plane. We were in the Philippines. Right. We were over the jungle, you know, doing a little practice. And it was unbelievable. You enjoyed it. You oh, really enjoyed my God. It. Oh, yeah. we, 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 I pulled six Gs. Mm. You know, he, and now that's shoving the, you back in the chair. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we, you know, we're trying to raise your arms. It, it was, I could never understand how these guys come back and they're soaked in sweat. And now I know. Now you know. Now I know. And yeah, how so. long are you up? Only, uh, no, not even oh. 40 minutes. Mm. Not even 40 minutes. And that was probably the, uh, something oh, yeah. you never forget. Oh, you fun. better believe it. Yeah. Now, okay, so you, we got basic, got mm -hmm. that out of the way. Mm -hmm. We've got our MOS and mm -hmm. a long school. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you just mentioned the Philippines. So where, where were some of your duties at? How, first of all, how long were you at? Four years. Four years. Just so, four years. Okay. I, I would have been in a little bit longer, but my wife-to-be didn't really want <laughs> much out. to do with that. So, okay. you know, and actually, you know, that's the, these are the paths we take in life. Sure. You know, turn left, turn right. So this is where I am today. So, so where, we, where okay. After, so, you know, I was, uh, my home station was Beaufort, South Carolina. Right. And uh, there was uh, four squadrons there, and we were one of four. And uh, we, I had back-to-back -back overseas control dates. I went mm -hmm. to the Far East for six months, came back for a year, and went back now, for where, six more where months. Where would you go when you went to the Far East? We went to Iwakuni, Japan. Okay. Oh, Iwakuni good. was an air base. Now, I think Japan, yeah. you tell me. Mm -hmm. I was in, I was, I had Korea and Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Japan, for the Army guys, was great duty. How about oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Cleanest country I've ever been in yeah, my life. Yeah. Not a, you can't, well, can't find a gum wrapper on a gun. And play. They take great pride in, 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 in everything they own. Every inch of ground has gardens on it. It was, really was. It was a beautiful country. Korea, I think, is the same way. It was beautiful oh, in Korea. I had a good the Philippines, between the water, you know, tropic waters versus uh, the, the jungle, you go horseback riding. Mm -hmm. I've got pictures of us water skiing between two uh, aircraft carrier groups. We're in the Philippines <laughs> at the same time. And, skating. and we, we were stationed there for, for uh, yeah. uh, six weeks. And I can tell you that uh, that was, uh, I was there, and that was why, you know, a lot of people, I'm, I'm not a um, combat veteran, right. but I was interned in time of conflict. Sure. That's when they blew up the Marine barracks. Oh, you kidding me? And they, we assembled yeah, on the flight Marine line. In Lebanon? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh. And we assembled on the light line, flight line. I can remember the colonel well, you, coming You were on alert. Yeah, they you said were. if they kill one more Marine, we're going. We're going. And, mm. uh, you know, thank God. How many did we lose? 20, 200? I forget. It was oh, a no, big, it was, a lot. It was a, it was lot. a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, it, you know, it's, it, it was not a good time. No, not know. a good time. But, uh, you know, so anyways, so I did two of those tours over there. Okay. Six uh, months in home. Yeah. And, okay. you know, we, we were in Okinawa. I actually. Now, how was Okinawa? I had a friend. A, a better one there. is, uh, you know, I, I got to be on the chase crew. And what's a chase crew? And what a chase crew? crew is, when we were in Beaufort, South Carolina. Okay. We were taking our jets all the way to Iwakuni, Japan. Mm. So what they do around is around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they would take off and they'd fly to California. Okay. The chase crew was seven members in a C-130 and a fuel bladder. So if those twelve planes, if one of them 
for unknown reasons, breaks down. You You've take got hydraulics, an engine, you know, radio. Okay. You can fix it. You can we fix can fix it. it, and then it goes. But then he you has chase, to fly circles around him. us to refuel with us to get him to to uh, uh, we, Pendleton, we, you know, okay. Pendleton, uh, right. the, the air the station. Out there. Out there. Okay. So we went from there and we went to Hawaii, and from Hawaii we went to Wake Island. Mm. What was that like? That was phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's you know, there's a lot of history with oh, Wake Island during you're World War II. You're going back to World War II yeah. and opening a, a history book right in front of you. Yeah. Right? So when we left Wake, uh, Wake Island, we went to Guam. Okay. And as we're in the C-130, all of our planes take off. We're in a C-130, and I'm sitting next to the staff sergeant, and all of a sudden, it's like somebody hit the brakes, and the whole plane slowed down. And you're, you know, it's, they're loud in these things. Sure. Also on TV, you see them. Everybody's talking. Oh, no. Yeah. no. Headsets no. on. You can't hear anything. So. I look out the window and one of the engines stops turning. You know, just they feather out the props. The props. Yep. Yeah. So I leaned over to him and I said, what happens if we lose another one? <laughs> yeah. He points up because in the ceiling is oh. where all the parachutes are. <laughs> and I thought, oh no. You know, we came in over the cliffs, fire trucks, everything. We were, it was fine, You're but fine. it was like, that it was, was a little hairy there yeah, for a few just, minutes. Yeah, you know, because okay. the whole squadron, we left four days before everybody else okay. and got there two days after everybody else. Oh, so else. something happened. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah just because it took that long to get the jets there. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was phenomenal. With, with a couple of minutes, we only have a couple of minutes mm -hmm. left. If you look back upon it, mm -hmm. best place you were in the service. I mean, wow. if, if, you, if you had one place. Everyone tells me they, uh, the, the Philippines the, the, they love. Yes. Yeah. I, I have to say it's got to be because they had the whole package. And I'm, I'm a warm weather guy. Yeah. I was in Korea for, for two team spirits during ice cold and, you know, going two weeks without taking a bath because, you know, <laughs> there was no showers there sure. the way they were sent up with the tents. Sure. The Philippines, it was, it was beautiful there. Jungle, we horseback rode in the jungle. I told you, we water skied between so these. It was a good it, tour. It, it was a, it was a, and, you know, a Catholic guy like yeah, you, and yeah, yeah. we had a Quonset hut for a church and the back wall was all glass and it was up on a hillside mm, overlooking the, the harbor. Oh, really? I mean, just the, some of these things that you'd see and come across you know, you, it's just, it makes you who Memories you are Memories the rest of your yeah, life, right? Yeah. It never changes. And, I, and for that matter, yeah. I just had a good friend of mine, Tracy Hellman, who was in a Marine Corps with me, and that was over 40 years ago, mm -hmm. sends me a message. I'm coming up. I'm taking a, a, you know, he has a large boat. He came up to St. Michael's. We met him, brought him to our house. Stories and, to yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. It's like our veterans yeah. group. I, I talked to you before yeah. you came downstairs. 11 o'clock every mm -hmm. Monday, Dunkin' Donuts in Centerville. Mm -hmm. Jim, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, guys say, and women, I've never spoken this to anybody. Yeah. My wife, I've been married four yeah. years, because yeah. she won't understand basic right. training. Right. She won't understand what you were just talking about, a bunch yeah. of Marines out in Subic Bay having yeah. the time of their life, yeah. and you're going, they don't understand that. And that's what You know, it's funny about. you say that, because you know, uh, another thing I remember from Paris Island mm -hmm. is during graduation, my father came down with my mother, and there was a two-star general there. And he happened to see on my father's lapel the retirement pin. Right. And then when he explained who my mother was and where he met in World War II and everything else, he got us all together, including me, you know, for a picture. Yeah. And, he, and he signed the a picture. Yeah, that was a good deal. Yeah, it was. And it was nice, you know, recognition for my father. You've got a lot of good you know? memories. Oh, right? yeah. You've got a yeah. family. Yeah. Well, Jim, look at my time's yeah. up before they start throwing bricks at me. Absolutely. Right? And here's yeah. the McNeils again. Yeah. Thank you for your service, first of all. Fred, as thank not you for everything you as do. A, as a county commissioner yeah. and Lane Cement mm -hmm. and your military service. Oh, yeah. I'm Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV 7. My time's up. Thank you for your time. And for all the military veterans out there, thank you for serving. Mm -hmm.